Well, hello there, Lewis. Well, thank you for such a lovely introduction, Simon. How are you? You are quite welcome. Wow. Quite welcome. It's weird that you put the focus what? on the quiet instead of the welcome. Quite welcome. You're quite welcome. I am. Is that worse? Well, I've come here. Oh. And I've come here well. Thank you for coming. The pleasure. The pleasure was all mine. Glad to be here. You're, you've got Daff on your lap. I've got Daffith, yes. Um, I feel like I need... Hello, Louis. My own little friend. How are you doing? Well, very well. Thank you, Daff. He's not really speaking. It's me doing it. Oh. No, he speaks Welsh. Oh. Yachida, Louis. Yachida. Why, why is he calling me that? Publicum. What does that mean? I don't understand. Is he being mean? Do you know what a hundred is in Welsh? Anyway, time for the first story. <laughs> Do you know what cappuccino is in Welsh? Frothy coffee. Frothy coffee. I love that. That's the best one. Well, it is, isn't it? We should just start using Welsh. It's easier to sort of, you know. I don't know if it is easier. Well, that one is. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. It's more I- fun as well, isn't it? You know, more it's, fun. It's a fun language. I think we should have more fun in our lives. We'll call it a, you know, I know it's an unorthodox opinion to have these days. My head is, the cogs are going around, uh, I've had to do a segue. Speaking of having fun, Lewis. In your life. In your life. Have you heard about how researchers have um, successfully taught um, cows how to go toilet in potty. What are you saying? They, um... Okay, well, basically... We have... What? We're, we're, what? This is real. Look, it's some science... What year is this? Dot com. We've had... Science.org. We have been right? farming cows for probably 4,000 years. Or it's I been was, a, maybe It's been a hot more. minute. It's been, it's been a, hot a minute. while. And only now are they realising that they could be potty trained. I mean, it wasn't an issue before. We would just let them pee and poo anywhere. We didn't care. And they were cool with it. And, yeah, the cows loved it. They were like, oh, I'm treading in my own shit again. Oh, and all my other friends' shit. Doesn't bother me, I'm a cow. Right. Now to eat this grass that's... Oh. I see, right. I see where the problem lies there. Uh, But... I'm just... There's that dog that's been trained to talk, it says like 48 words. There's like a speech therapist lady. Not 48 that. words! <laughs> not in Welsh. <laughs> well, maybe, well, you know, if, if they have a pet in Welsh, maybe the dog does respond to Welsh words. So technically he would speak, speak, speak Welsh. Okay. But there is a lady I saw recently. Oh, ladies can speak words as well. Who has trained her dog oh. to speak 48 different unique words. The dog speaks. Yeah, I'm so sorry? he says like, "Go out." <laughs> no, he like dings little bells, and it says like, and or he presses little buzz, and it says like, "Outside park now," when he wants to go for a walk, or he says like, "Inside blanket now," and stuff like when he wants like, he can say please, I think, but he also says "I love you" when he really wants something. So it's like oh. food, please, and I then love you. Food, please, I love you. It's great. You should look it up. Just a dog that talking. I think like people are really realizing that animals are not just mindless meat sacks. You know, they have sentience and awareness, yeah. and they can. They don't have to poo on themselves. That's true. They can be trained to poo in a place. But I mean, the- and this is the first step towards integrating them into our society. No. 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 It's, it's, it's because of the massive cattle farming is going to sort of help hasten the end of the world. I, well, we know this, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like a huge amount of, mm. of land is dedicated to farming cattle. They, re, they produce a lot of methane. Yes. You know, we're constantly told the doom stories. But everyone loves a beef burger. So what can we do? I don't know. <laughs> it's my fault. There's no solution. There is. What? We teach the cows to go toilet in potty. That will... Much s- like toddler. <laughs> <laughs> that will solve everything. Good. I'm glad we got a solution mm. on the way. Glad people are not wasting their time. So there's an animal behaviourist who was interviewed on the radio. 
The disc jockey said, Why not just potty train cows? Because cow urine, it, uh, when it like breaks down, it, it has horrible chemicals. What? Like what? Like nitrous oxide, which is a greenhouse gas. It is. It's true. Because um, a lot of nitrogen, ammonia is in piss. I'm surprised they're not collecting it and selling it. Do you know what I mean? For some, for some, for someone, someone, there must be a market for cow piss. There's <laughs> someone on eBay like, oh, there we go. I almost won this auction. There we go. Two thousand gallons of cow piss. Oh. <laughs> One ninety nine. <laughs> oh, what a bargain! More to add to my collection of cow piss. Hmm. I see what you're saying. And then, like, the tanker arrives outside his house and he says, Just detach the O's to the upstairs window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you think, like, I mean, because there was a time when people used to extract ammonia from piss or something, didn't they, back in the day when they were making... Nitrogen is used for fertiliser. Yeah. So and ammonia is in pee... So when ammonia oxidizes, you get nitrous oxide and other things. It can break down in a number of different ways. You're the chemist. Yeah. Harbour process to make Did ammonia. you not do uh, cow well, piss? Well, they t yeah, they found out the har harbour process came along and it was mm. a much more efficient... You could actually make ammonia from, I think, just, just the air and some other stuff. Because there's literally nitrogen just mostly... In yeah, but you need the high pressure and and um, temperature to do it. I think. Right. So yeah, you can. Was uh, it seventy eight percent of the air? A lot of the, what we're breathing in right now. Nitrogen is is good old nitrogen. Yeah, it's just like the stuff <clears throat> around us. Yeah. That we're swimming through. <clears throat> Weird, isn't it? When you start thinking about science, as like part of science changes your outlook. It certainly does. Um, Especially when, you know, you got cows pissing and shitting everywhere. Yeah, you think, well, science isn't helping this situation, is it? You know. And then a scientist goes, okay, what if we could train the cows to pee and poo in a particular Into area mouths. where it could safely be stored? Where we could drink it. Um, and it wouldn't go to waste. There are hundreds of millions of dairy cows in the world. Yeah. And if we... Capture, They're pissing and pooing all the time. If we managed to capture 80% of the cow urine, it would lead to a 56% reduction in emissions of ammonia. Really? There you go. We could Which use that to important. make bombs with instead. I don't know if we want to do that. I don't know if we do that. What else would we use Anyway, do you want to see a cow use the mulu? Why the fuck not? On three times speed? For some reason, the actually, there we go. Why am I watching this? It's not quite fucking high speed. I'm watching a cow pee in high speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we? Here we go. Let's just. So it enters the swing gates. It's like a saloon. Yeah. And it stands in the special place, and it goes toilet. I feel like couldn't you just have sloping floors? It is, it is sloping down a bit, so the pee goes down that great No, thing. I mean, just regularly. <clears throat> well, no, I mean, you want to put a bit of, like, astroturf in, so it's nice. It's like putting a bit of carpet around the loo. It's classy. Oh, right. It's also, you know, just disgusting. No, but but some people do that, put, like, that weird little horseshoe of carpet around the toilet. Yeah. The... I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them. They should be fucking shot. Those mm. kind of people, if you ask me. Well. Rounded up and gassed. Yeah. For the ammonia. Well, there's a lot of it going. There is. Especially if we're collecting it. Mm. Now, you know, got to put it to use, like I said. To gas the people who have those carpet horseshoes around their yeah. toilet. They are just a fucking piss sponge, those things. You know that they also... The point? It's the same people that have the little, like, ballerina or whatever on the toilet roll. You know, that weird little thing where her skirts cover the loo roll. Oh, God, and I thought... And then it's like a torso on top. What's that for? 
It just classes up because you don't want to just show like oh, a toilet right. roll. I thought do it was. You? I thought it was used for something. I thought no. people were sticking it. Well, you wipe your ass with it. Well, I didn't know. Was it like you don't wipe your ass with the little princess thing? I don't fucking know what it it's for. It covers the shameful toilet roll. I see the toilet roll. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hide the giant porcelain throne though, are you? Under like some sort of tent of fabric. Oh my god! There are people that also have like a sort of carpety thing on the lid of the toilet. Oh, yeah, the, the lid. Top. You're right. People put carpets on everything. Oh, That's God. all gone now. It's all wood panels everywhere now. Everywhere yeah, wood all... panel on my toilet. That's what I've got. Yeah. Yeah, classy. Because that soaks up the piss. Yeah. You know, but you can't see it. It also polishes the wood as well. Oh, does it? Pee. Oh, is that what they use it for? It gives it a nice sort of, sort of sheen. Got like a bleachy it. kind of act. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh. oh. I'll be sure to take a tinkle next time I'm around, just to have a look at how you've polished up your Mm-mm. pissy wood toilet. Lovely. Um, what the fuck are we doing? What's happening? Cow piss. Cow piss. I'm, my question, I guess, was why yes. don't they just have all the slopes, all the, the cows on a little slope? Do you know what I mean? Why do they even need to train them at all? Why are they not collecting the pee right now? What's stopping people collecting the pee? They're just lazy? I mean, they don't have to train. I don't think we should think, mass train. I think cows. the idea is that if you have like a bunch of cows in a shed or a bunch of cows in a field, they will just pee where they are. But right. if you train them so that when they need the loo, they go to the special pee area, then you can control it. I see, because they're or not they got to be. The they just got to be trained once, time. right? And then they know how to do it. I see. Okay. And, and you know, one of the scientists did say that it is easier than training a toddler how to use the toilet. Really? So cows are quicker to learn how to go toilet than toddlers. So an adult cow is smarter than a baby human. We are learning things about, about ourselves and our babies. And our cows. And, and this is where we need this is the future. Oh, and piss as well. You're learning a lot about piss, mm. which is always good. You know, you can never know too much about piss. That's what my parents always told me, and uh, served me well through my life. You know, I'm listening. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm listening. I'm taking. I'm squirreling all this away, Simon. Because one day may come the time when I need to use this information about cow piss to save the world. What, well, I was thinking more like like a survival situation. You're you're on a desert island, right? No, plane right. crash. That's right. There's only you and a cow on the island. The Is cow he, was also a passenger. Was he okay? Yeah, the cow's fine. It had a parachute. Really? You didn't have one, but you saw the cow on the parachute. Or the parachute on the cow as it was falling from the sky. It, it grabbed me. No, you you rode it down. Let me see. Like, yeehaw. Yeah. Holding my cowboy hat in one hand. Yeah. Like Dr. Strangelove. That's right. Yeah. And, um, so it's just us. <laughs> you were like doing that as you were riding a cow. It's a bit of a spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler for Dr. Strangelove the bomb does drop. We drop a, they drop a bomb. They drop a bomb. At the end. It's, a to- it's an atomic bomb. It's an old film. Spoiler, the bomb is an atomic bomb. Spo- spoiler. <laughs> it's good, though. You should check it out. It's worth watching. Yeah. Even now. Yeah, how I stopped <clears throat> worrying and learned to love that bomb. Or the cow. Or the cow piss. Yeah. Well, I mean, that may be what happens. You you know, you're on a survival island situation. You're thinking, fuck, I'm going to have to get coconuts down. You're like, oh, I could really do with a hot drink. Mm. But there's no tea. What to do? Well, I know of a lukewarm drink. <clears throat> yeah. Milk. Oh. There's multiple liquids you could use, actually. In what situation. do you mean multiple? Well, milk. Piss. The other one. It, sort of the milky piss. <laughs> if it's, it. okay, if a, it's a cow and you're getting milk from it, you're not drinking cow pit cow 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 sp 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 cow cum. Cow cumber. Cow cumber. You're right. We're not. Didn't think of that. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we've. This is why we're doing it now. 
I'm going to get one or the other. Because... Unless the cows intersex. I don't know if that's a thing. Well, these days, it probably might be useful. Is, is there any monetary gain for doing that? Sell... For raising intersex cows? Yeah. Would you get extra milk? I don't think that's how it works. Oh! This is, this is interesting news, and this is farmland animal related. <laughs> right? It's been a bit sweaty, this one. Carry on. Geep. You've Googled the word geep. Yes. It's the name for a sheep-goat hybrid. Oh. Sheeps and goats can... <laughs> Gross. And then a geep is born. That is such a nice name, <clears throat> a little geep, a little baby geep. Sometimes it's called a shoat, but that, that's not going to that. It doesn't that's sound not, as good. No, it's not a good name, is it? This is on Twitter. New geeps on this account. New geep just dropped. Butterfly is a little miracle. That is adorable. <coughs> Mama sheep and goat give birth to astonishingly rare baby geep. <coughs> is it quite rare, then, that, the, that they can cross species? Is I think not? so. I think so. I think it's not an easy thing to just... Do Do you think let's, that let's it would taste it as good as a lamb? Well, I mean, I guess I guess lamb and goat are, you know, kind of similar meats. I'm just thinking about the money side. You they're know? quite stringy meats. The they, they're I've, good if they're cooked for a I long time. I do feel like we've had 4,000 years of, of animal husbandry going on. Mm. Sheeps and goats have been around for that time. If breeding them together made a more tasty of morsel, they would have done it by now. Do you know what I mean? We'd be eating this. Well, not me, but some, you know, I used to. But, but you know, we would, we would, you'd be eating this in a sandwich. You wouldn't be having a chicken and pickle, which incidentally is a really weird... <laughs> chicken and Branston pickle, that's what I had for my lunch. It's a weird sandwich. Granary bread. You'd be having a geep... And mustard. I didn't want cranberry sauce. And I was like, what do I want? A tomato. I know we've only just talked about a weird sign. Let's breed a sheep with a goat and see what we get. I know we've yeah. already gone that, but I, and I've gone straight away to eating it. But I do feel like history has... If history has taught us I one thing... I feel like keep tonight, <laughs> like keep tonight. <laughs> exactly. So you won't be doing this because... Man, that's a tune. Geep, that's an industry. That's Dragon's Den. We should go on Dragon's Den. That's what I'm saying. Well, we should try out the Geeps and see if they <clears> taste <throat> good. But. Hello, I'm Simon. So, um, thank you for listening. Today I've got, and then I like put like, you know, the thing up. So I've got, it's called a geep. <laughs> it's a sheep goat hybrid. It's going to solve the hunger problems in the world. Across the world, two billion people suffer in poverty and don't have enough food. Geep, geep is the solution. Looking for, looking for, looking for six, six hundred thousand pound. For twenty percent of the business, thank you. Uh, Simon, is it? Geep. Simon, is it? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. What? So I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. That's all right, Simon. Skeep. Thanks for coming in. It's the sheep goat hybrid. What is skeep? I know I look like a dog. I ordered, I uh, ordered a stuffed geep. Dog came instead. So what is it? It's all gone wrong. Don't worry, Simon. It's all um, gone wrong. So, don't worry, it's fine. I'll uh, tell you what, I'm interested. Which one are you? Are you Theo? Yeah. Are you Duncan? Are you Deborah? Are you the other one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the other one. Okay, you're the other one. Uh, so, uh, I thank you for... Geep. It's a beautiful geep. Sheep got hybrid. Have you tried it yourself? No. Right. How do you know that, that the, the, the global poverty will, will enjoy it or eat it at all? It might be horrible, is goes, what you're saying. Goes nice with rice. I once, I, at my London restaurant, 
I eat uh, sheep ostrich hybrids, eep, eep stretches, and they are delicious. I also eat iguana crocodile steaks. <laughs> what are they called? What's the crossover of an iguana crocodile called? Agarna's dials. Agarna dial. Agarna dial. Mm. Okay. They are very leathery. Keep. <laughs> Looking for six hundred thousand pound, twenty percent. So, uh, do you think you're? I got. I got to buy vans for the keep <laughs> to drive. Where are you driving them to? No, the keeper driving. Right. <laughs> do you? Well, look, we can offer you £60,000. I'll tell you what, I've got an old ice cream van. I can give Keep. you that. But I will want 40% of the business. And you will have to make it into ice cream. Paste. You can use Geep Paste. Got yourself a deal. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> You're welcome, Simon. Geep. I want put, to... put some Geep in your food. <laughs> Get some geep in you. That's a good slogan. Yeah. I like it. Put some geep in your food. Let's do that. Yeah, put some geep in your step. Get get get, get yourself a geep. Geep yourself. Geep yourself before you peep yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you do, you can always go to the corner of the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it in a special trough. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll, we'll use that for gassing. We'll have to train the geep to do that. I don't know if they're smart as cows. Well, they're not either. They've got no cow blood in them at all. They're half sheep, half goat. Yeah, but they might be... They're nothing to do with cows. Yeah, but I don't know if a sheep or a goat is... I don't know where the hierarchy of intelligence is between cow, sheep and goat. You're an idiot, aren't you? You don't know anything. You're not a scientist. Deal's off. (laughs) I want me fucking geek back. (laughs) Fuck you, other one. (laughs) Fuck you. Well, I didn't want your stupid geep idea anyway. Good luck. Good luck with you out there. The world's a tough place. And without all my business contacts in Sainsbury's and Tesco's, how are you going to get geep on the shelves, huh? How are you going to sell your geep steaks? Your your geep steak? That's right. Local market. Geep stand. (laughs) I'm actually like, I'm actually Uh, interested. You're interested. You live in now. Yeah. You're no longer playing a character. No, I'm interested in your local geep. Are you? Are you actually going to give me? I am actually interested. You're yeah. going to give me six hundred. I'm going to give you the whole thing. Yeah. For twenty percent of the I, business. I, I... You're going to have twenty-five percent of the business. Well, that's very generous. You got yourself you got a deal. deal. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, but I accept. Ah. <laughs> 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 You just, you had such honesty and you said such honesty behind the pitch. You, it was so genuine. <laughs> I was so, I was so invested. Uh, oh, God. I like the idea of them driving vans. Oh, oh, my God. They drive themselves around. Yeah. They're really smart, obviously. Well, maybe we could train cows to drive vans. We haven't tried. No one's tried. Do you know what I mean? They didn't know they could pee until now. Well, I knew they could pee, just... In a specific location. Yeah, But if, yeah. That, if that's... The sky's the limit, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Did you think the cows couldn't pee? No, I knew <laughs> they were peeing. I just don't know why people weren't collecting it. I still want to know that. You know? Because you have to follow the... Like, you don't have to have, a, like... If there's a hundred million cows, right? I realise... You're going to have to have a hundred million people... I realise it's cost Each outside. with a hundred million buckets. Yeah. Wait, each with a hundred million buckets? I just assume they're all in a big factory, is what I'm assuming. But no, I guess they do let them out yeah. a lot, and that's where they pee and poo is outside, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there's loads of giant, giant sheds just filled with them. <clears throat> yeah. Wow, that was, that was quite something. I'm ready to carry on and move on past... <sighs> Keep... Past... Past that. Jesus Geek. Christ. Have you heard of a man who had a, a very, a very valuable collection? Oh, of? Uh, well, let's not worry about that now. A very valuable collection of... Um, Dolls. Mem- Silverware. Memorabilia and stuff. Yo-yos. Thimbles. Toby jugs. Yeah, medals. Something, coins, yeah, something like stamps. that. Stamps. Something like that. Warhammer. Yeah, something like that. 
Um, and I think it was um, it was worth a lot of money. <clears throat> I think it's worth forty thousand right. um, dollars. I think I remember seeing that. Um, so Is yeah, you? valuable collection. It Your was not collection. me. It was not me. Lego. This man lived with his parents, and his parents were sick of his collection hobby taking up so much space trains it he, is lego so so this so this man comics stop, books stop trying to guess yeah, well it, it was yeah books kind yeah kind of videos you know, that sort of ephemera yeah there, there were videos yeah there were videos and dvds there were, there magazines were, there were films magazines you know all sorts of i see where things Okay. Of an adult nature. I see. Porn. Porn. Right, oh, I see. Okay. Well, look, we're all grown ups here. We are. It's also. So let's not. Um, beat around the bush like they do in porn. Uh, we're just going to talk about it like grown ups. Yes, yes. This guy, he had more porn than you could uh, shake, shake your, your stick at. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey. so, so, so what? So he was a married man. So what? We all have. Exactly. You know, mine's probably worth more than fucking 30, 40 grand. Exactly. Right? This is no big deal. But I think the problem was that this, this wasn't like in um, like digital format or condensed, small, expensive DVD a very rare erotica. Then you know, there wasn't like a shelf. It was like a fucking room full of shit. Right. He divorced his wife, moved oh. back in with his parents, oh. lived there for ten months, and they got sick of all this weird shit that he had. God knows what crazy shit he was into. Did he bring but it with him stand from it. the? Yes. Right. Can you imagine the moving day? Do you know what I mean? What if, what if he just has all these suitcases? And they're like, oh, I see you got all your clothes, dear. Clothes. Yeah. yeah. Well, every time <laughs> I've moved, I've always, anyone I've moved with is always like, do you need this? Do you need this toaster? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Do you need this? Do you need this copy of Big Jugs? <laughs> Big wobbly jugs. <laughs> Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, the, every single one. Someone just just walked past the door. I saw through the glass. Just so I was saying, big wobbly jugs. Someone just walked past. That's and okay. They just, I just saw them turn their heads slightly. Well, you know, they understand. that They've probably, you know, they've probably had to part with their copy at yeah. some point, as we all have. Yeah. When moving. You know, what do you do when you move? I guess before you move, you hide Back in the day, you would hide all of your porn or throw it in the bin somewhere. I've moved into houses. So, okay, say you've got a whole bunch of porno mags, right? Right. How, how do you hide them? What, like, what do they go in or, like... Well, I guess you've got lots of options. One is burn them. No, no, the whole point is you're you hiding them. You have, like, them. some kind of shameful... That's not hiding them. You just some, destroy them. Some shameful oil barrel fire <laughs> the night before where you're, like, burning the evidence, right? Yeah. You know... There's just a bonfire, and you can see the spirits of boobs <laughs> flying out in the smoke. Yeah. Goodbye, lovely jubblies 13, or whatever, you know. Yeah. In you go, and then the next... All of them go in there, one by one. Or, second option, leave them there. You know, hide them somewhere. Yeah. Like in a vent Help. behind a cupboard that stays oh there. Oh, my God. You know. Something for the new owners to exactly. find. Exactly. It's not your problem but, anymore. But what if, like, the fucking house burns down due to all this, you know, combustible material hidden in vents? And well, then, you know, not... the fire marshal, investigator, whoever the fuck it's called. Well, that's just another one of the victims of porn. I think it was caused by this. The ultimate <laughs> copy of Big Jugs. <laughs> Ah. It's partially burnt around the edges. Right. This is the, oh my God. This is the source of the fire. It was yeah. so hot. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, so nice. option three, of course, is to bin Take them. It. No! But you've got to be careful because someone might 
you know, the bin men or someone might see him in the bin. Treasure. Exactly. Option four is dumping of wood, which was a classic one. Oh, yeah. When we were kids, there was always porn in woods. That's where you found it. That's where it came you from. You would go out there, you know. Maybe that is where it comes from. Wearing a loincloth, you would douse yourself in like mud and blood and stuff to blend in with like the foliage. Put some, you know, leaves in your hair. I'm hunting porn. Yeah, you'd have a spear that you whittled. Yeah. You'd go out there and look for the good stuff. Yeah. Maybe you'd be lucky to find a copy of Daily Sport or something. <gasps> Big jugs. There you go. <laughs> Grab it in a plastic bag, take that back, put it in the bottom of your cupboard. <laughs> He's trying to run off. <laughs> and then option six, of course, is just bring it with you to your parents. Get them to help you pack it up. Bring it with How you. do you hide the porn? You got all these magazines, right? DVDs. How do you hide them? Do you put? Do you just put them in a box, seal the box, and on it you just say plates on top i see in marker pen what well, so you fill up boxes full of porn but then you put like two token plates on top of each one. Oh yeah and yeah you put kitchen yeah oh but then you know oh i got you i've got your kitchen stuff i'll just i'll just, I'll just open unpack it, it for you oh! this is a classic oh i think i'll turn lesbian <laughs> all these big chunks <laughs> Your aunt is just shocked. Yeah. It always is, it was someone, it's a, always a family member helping people move, you know, move into pain in the ass. And yeah, I, 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 I think it's just not a modern problem anymore. You know, no one has physical porn anymore to have to deal you with. You just have filthy hard drives. Yeah. What do you do with the old hard drives though, full of porn? Put them in a vent, like uh, Dexter. <laughs> right, oh, I see. And then... Or throw them into the sea. Right. You're just there. Goodbye. <laughs> All these... Good memories. <laughs> One day someone's fishing and they just get, like, <laughs> all these fucking hard drives. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's, you know, it's a treasure trove, isn't it? It's a modern day, you know, pirates, you know, dub- instead of gold doubloons. Dun, 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 It's slippery... Slippery, wet um, butts, you know, oily, oily butts. Slippery, wet, oily butts. <laughs> yeah, well, I... And dongers. <laughs> Part four. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're even in parts now. That was an old thing too, right? It used mm, to be that there would be volumes yeah. and compilations and, you know, there would be like... They would, there would be series that would, you know, you'd never find episode one of a series. It would be already, already be episode, you know, six. You're like, oh, fuck episode... I haven't seen the first five. <laughs> I'm not going to understand what's happening. Exactly. Why is there a fireman here? <laughs> <laughs> there's no fire. Well, there's a fire hazard, though. Yeah, know, there is. Because of all the porn. There is. Maybe that's Hidden why the fireman's everywhere. there. I wonder how, I mean, the classic thing was under the bed, right? Or under the mattress. You know, or in the bottom of the yeah, cupboard. Yeah, but this man had, like, I mean, the the judge. He had, it went to court. Ordered did, sorry, his parents to pay to... thirty thousand dollars because it was valued so much. Sorry, he. So his parents threw out his porn collection. Yes. Right. After ten months, they were sick of it. <clears throat> um, do you do you think that porn has collectible like you know like Action Comics number one, Spider Man number one, porn issue one? <laughs> <laughs> is there? This is where it all began. High value. The first ever porno. Well, I mean, they, they had por- porno as far as it went back, didn't they? As soon no, as they there's could... got to be an issue one. No, there's like a daguerreotype of. Porn back That's when they were what? That's just a made-up word. You know when they were doing pictures that were tight. where someone had to pose for like twenty minutes, and as a result, they had to have a very ex- expressive. They couldn't smile, and it's just them with their tits out, looking glum. You know, and it's black and white, and a man's like, "Oh, very horny." So there's what? Like, there's a lady and a man, and a man's just going like this. Oh no, it's not though. It's no, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't think he's. No, I don't think there's any man in, but that would be inappropriate. Can someone Photoshop that and that can be the thumbnail for the video? It's going to be... No, it's just like, you know, <clears throat> a lady showing her ankle. 
I don't oh, think, oh, oh, I don't think oh. they even had their tits oh, out in the An ankle! One. Exactly. Oh my god. Ankles, volume one. That will be it. That will be the early ones. <laughs> Oily, wet, slippery ankles. They should have named them like the modern pornos are. <laughs> Step ankles! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, step uncle, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it was that, you know, they had the full body bathing suits, they weren't allowed to show much skin, they were much more... Not in know. public, anyway. Well, in any case, do you think... <clears throat> I don't really hear much... You know, you hear about, like, playing cards or, like, baseball cards being this huge thing. There's massive conventions, huge values. Yeah. The collectible cards market, they're deliberately printing like cards that are like one-offs and stuff to make them valuable. So every year they print these like special baseball cards that are like signed by, you know, baseball stars and stuff and basketball stars. Like, what? Like who? Who signed them? Like LeBron. LeBron, okay. And... Uh, Baseball? D David. David. Mm, Michaels. David Michaels. David Michaels. He's a, yeah. You, you. Red Sox? No, no. Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> no, a little. Slippery <laughs> Oilers. The Pittsburgh Oilers. <laughs> no, the Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Sheer white stockings and right. freak pink frilly pants. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Not red socks. No. They're like a, they're like no, it, oh. much more erotic. Yeah. That they, they it's a big market. What I'm saying is, mm. is there a, is there a section in there? Because when, when we go to a anime <laughs> convention, there's always naked anime titty dolls. Yeah. They're collectible to some people. Yeah. Um, I think anything's collectible if you try hard. What, what's the question you're asking? Are there... Are there? I'm just wondering if there's like a committee. Little figurines if there's a, is there a, of <laughs> naked baseball players. Yes. Is there, what? Is there a, what's the... What? Is there... Like, there's like an official sort of organisation that rates and judges the quality and authenticity of baseball cards and stuff, right? They have like a whole market and they right. encase them in like plastic and stuff you know <clears throat> and have them sealed up and they get traded like for five grand or they go up but they're going to have value hugely right these things because i don't know people are crazy but is there one for porn you know is there an, an expert a porn expert out there um, saying what many. porn is worth money and what porn is worth shit money do you know what I mean well someone must have done evaluation on this collection just as part of the settlement yeah. Or when... Where's that porn expert? Because I feel like I'm... I mean, I I think a lot of us have know quite a lot about... It just I'm says... Just saying that... It just says the judge followed the value set by an expert. Right. But who was this expert? It's just well, a I local guy. This could be anyone. Who is this man? Because we're all little experts in our own ways, aren't we? Just wondering if I should have been consulted. I'm a bit of... I'm not a connoisseur. Um, but I've I've seen some porn. I know what I've watched some. I've watched some porn in my time. Have what you? kind of what kind of porn? Well, you know, all sorts. You name it, I've seen it. I mean, I'm not. I don't. S you watch that Cut one? Cut that, Alex. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know. Um, you know. I'm just interested. You know, because this is a very specific value. That's a lot of money. I assume that there must have been... 40 grand of porn. Was it just a lot of porn or was it some... Was there it just must a have couple? been a lot. No, it wasn't a couple. It was a, there was a shitload of stuff, which is why the parents wanted to get rid of it because it was taking up so much room. I think I think they there, there must be many experts out there that are like antique experts, collection, memorabilia. Uh, magazines are considered ephemera. They're like periodicals that you're only could buy during a short period and then you can't get hold of them again unless it's on secondary markets so their value can go up i mean quite a, a lot, lot of dads <clears throat> have boxes of old shit in their garage right like train enthusiast or new our scientist our fucking dads could all be sitting on a gold mine when they pop their clogs well we inherit it no it's more oh. that your mum always says 
Why does your dad keep all those worthless magazines in the garage? I've been trying to get him to throw them out for years. And this, it just so happens it, that... He's been working on that, <laughs> that... That old car, that classic car, for 20 years now! Pop it out to the garage. And every time I have a look at it, he always looks the same. 20 years it's been. I think he's wanking in there. Well, I mean, that's it. You know, yeah. They, that, yeah. Or... Just trying to get away from you, your miserable old bat. How do you like that? Hmm? You shocked? Well, I n- <laughs> never. <laughs> well, you know, you you <sighs> you know, you making them throw out all of their their lovely old bits of wood that they might need one time. You know, my dad is someone who has got odd shaped pieces of wood in the garage that you never know when you might need an odd shaped piece of wood. Please tell me more about your father's odd shaped piece of wood. <laughs> it's multiple. He, okay. okay. He goes into the garage. They range from just a couple of inches to yeah. a, almost Sands a foot. it down, well. gets, gets a bit of sandpaper and just sort of just works it up and down. You can, you can, gives a good polish. You can, you can you know, shave them <coughs> down, yeah. You, mm. can, you, can, you can get them all smooth and yeah. ready. Will them up, obviously. Mm. And you've got a good bit of wood there. Mm. Yeah, it could be useful for a gnaw doorknob. Or <laughs> <laughs> all sorts. <laughs> or a different kind of knob. A <laughs> window knob. <laughs> that yeah. would be magnificent if, you know, one day you go into your parents' house, you go into the the garage, your shed that your dad's got, and shelf after shelf is just filled with wooden dildos. Oh my <laughs> god. Carved. Twenty years of <laughs> of of beautiful The thing is, Lewis, I just I just like the shape of it. Mm. I just like I just like the shape of it. <laughs> I'm not gay or anything, I just like the shape of it. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to give them a old suck. <laughs> Frankly, Dad, I did you a big favour getting rid of all this stuff, uh, said his son <laughs> oh, in an email. Holy shit. I had a skip, filled it with dicks. A bin man was like, oh, I have those. Are those dicks going free. <laughs> they go to his garage. He moves in with his mum, wakes oh up with his God. wife. It's a cycle of hate. It just never ends. You know, you wonder where the porno mags come from in the daily, in the fucking forest. It's a cycle. I want to know where all these wooden dildos are. Well, they're cycling around. Someone's got them. Someone's hoarding them. Someone's loving them right now. But it won't be long before their mum or other half get annoyed. Jealous, maybe. Jealous. Just be on the lookout. Just somewhere out there. If you've seen a load of carved wooden penises, do write in. Let us know in the comments. To Simon Lane. Don't. The Yogscast. Don't do that. Fourth floor, King William House, Don't. Bristol. BS1, 4NT. Thank you. Thank you. We need to know, are they okay? Are they safe? Are they secret? Are they safe? Well, they're certainly not secret, are they? No. But they're safe. That's all we need to know. Well, there you go. That was uh, a load of shit. <laughs> <laughs>